Hello, I am Destiny Longmire, and this is Portraits of Black Maryland. Today, we will be celebrating Verda Freeman Welcome. Verda Freeman Welcome fought for the advancement of Maryland and was crucial in the fight for equality and social change. She was born March 18, 1907, in North Carolina. Verda Welcome was one of 16 children of John Newborn and Dorsha Freeman. In 1929, Verda moved to Baltimore and graduated from Coppin State Teachers College. She worked for 11 years as a teacher in the Baltimore City Public School System. In 1935, she married Dr. Henry C. Welcome. In 1939, she earned a bachelor's degree in history from Morgan State University. In 1943, Verda earned a master's degree from New York State University. During the 1940s, she worked to register African Americans to vote. In the 1950s, she led the way to remove racial barriers at the White Coffee Pot, a Baltimore eatery. By the 1960s, she had become an active leader in the civil rights struggle. She ran for the Maryland House of Delegates and was elected in 1958. Four years later, she went on to become the first African-American in the history of the country to hold a seat in the state Senate. As a state senator, she fought for the interracial marriage, equal pay for women, and voter registration by mail. She helped Morgan State College gain university status. She became the first black person to have a portrait hung in the chamber of the Maryland State House where Welcome spent 25 years in the Maryland Legislative, surviving an assassination attempt, doing her first term as a senator. She died in 1990 at the age of 83. I am Destiny Longmire, and this has been Portraits of Black Maryland.